Skyline Parkway and Seven Bridges Road by Edison Lee, Christopher Lopez, and Adam Bergstrom. Skyline Parkway is a scenic byway. It is 30 miles long and goes by 11 creeks. It offers amazing views of the harbor. You can do activities like watching birds in the summer and cross-country ski in the winter. The road is winding and narrow and can bring you really close to the cliffs at times. It has open forests and panoramic views that are stunning at night because of the lights. In 1894, the parkway was imagined by William K. Rogers, but he died so Mayor Snively finished the project, sometimes even paying out of his own pocket when funds were low. Seven Bridges Road is the first segment of Skyline Parkway. It goes from Hawk Ridge to Superior Street. It has eight stone bridges, even though it is called Seven Bridges Road, and it is made from local rock that is basalt and bluestone. It is four miles long. Sam Snively donated most of his land for Seven Bridges Road and asked the rest from his neighbors. It did not take very long to finish the road. I have a dream of a road on cliffs with great views and a cook cook. <laughs> Hmm, I should do that and then take all the credit. That would be fun. I shall name it Skyline Parkway and it will be Duluth's first tourist attraction. Hopefully it could e even be started by 1889 and provide a lot of jobs. I wish I had a direct route to the city. Right now I have a long commute with Amity Creek in the way. I know. I'll just build a road to my house and it will cross the river multiple times and it will provide jobs. I'll just take some money out of the city budget for it and everything will be fine. Well, that went well. They agreed that everyone in my area needs that road, and if it all goes well, I should be finished in 1901. Ooh, building these bridges is hard work, and these rainstorms have made us start over multiple times. I'm afraid that funds will run low and I will lose this job. Do not worry, my friends. You will not lose this job. For if funds run low, I will pay you because I'm rich and I knew this road will be my legacy after the first section opened in 1892. Thank you, Mayor Snively. You are truly the world's best mayor. I call this meeting to order. We are here today to discuss the Skyline Parkway, which you may remember from 2001, when it was designated as a state scenic byway, in order to close a five-mile section of it. We have spent a lot of money on this section because of the hill and the way the water flows. This means every year we have to pay a lot of money when it comes when we could close it down and have to be done with it. Any objects, objections? Also, this puts into place a plan to restore the parkway. Will this take away from any of the views that people come to Duluth to see? No, this section is in the woods, all right? All in favor, say aye. 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 All right, council dismissed. In conclusion, Skyline Parkway and Seven Bridges Road have both had their fair share of history. From Anger Tower to the amazing views, it's Duluth's only scenic byway and one of Duluth's greatest tourist attractions.